watching my channel. Uh, so today's session is about mindset. There are other platforms that will teach you how to study and strategies and help you with challenging concept. But today I really, really want to take the time to focus on the mental self conversations that you have. Um, first off, I just want to say congratulations for being a medical student. Um, it is such an honor, such a privilege, you know, to be in the selfless profession. So that's amazing. Thank you for that. Um, so basically, okay, let's mindset. So what does that mean? So how do you talk to yourself? What do you say to yourself? You know, when you're alone, what are, what goes through your mind basically? Um, how do you speak to yourself? Um, so medical school, I like to see it as like an extreme sport. Like it will shake you, it will break you, but then it'll just build you up. But it all depends on the foundation of that buildup. And that foundation is your mind. Like what do you say to yourself, right? So are you the glass half empty or, or half full type? Like what type are you? How do you, how do you see the life? Like how do you see the life? How do you see life? Okay. Um, so what I want to get to today is just ways that, you know, you can stay driven. Okay. I mean, you have lectures, you have labs, you have all these other commitments. And by the time you're ready to like sit down and study, it's like, what, 8 PM or something. So it's like you go throughout the day doing all these formalities, you know, because you have to. But then the most important is actually sitting down and studying, you know, for your quizzes, exams, board exams. So it takes a toll on your mind. It takes a toll on your body. So let's just kind of talk about ways to stay focused and driven. So the first thing I want to say is I want you to start thinking in a way where you wake up every morning and you tell yourself that you're going to do the best you can. You're going to be the best medical student that you can be. Okay. And just start the day off in that right path, that mindset. Okay. Because, you know, med school, it changes people, but it could change for good or bad. Okay. So you want to work on just work on perfecting yourself, work on, um, try to figure out ways to perfect your craft, right? So craft as in the sense of your studying strategies, you might be studying a certain way, you know, that might work in undergrad that might work in high school, but it's not going to work in med school. It's not going to work in grad school. Okay. It's a whole different beast. Okay. Med school. It's like, you're starting to, you're learning all over, you're teaching yourself how to learn this way than what usually what you used to do. So every day you tell yourself you're gonna do the best you can and you're gonna perfect your craft, your skill on your studying strategies, how to, you know, whatever it may be to do well on these exams because it does matter. Your scores do matter. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is you have to trust yourself. So if you've done new world, it questions you, it questions your self-worth, it questions your knowledge. It, it just, it really, really questions you basically. So you got to learn to trust yourself. Okay. The way to do that, the way you're going to trust yourself is when you are studying a concept and you master the concept and the way you're going to master a concept and study is you got to stay focused. Okay. Stay focused one task at a time. If you're studying about cellulitis, for example, learn everything about cellulitis, all the different pathogens, the signs and symptoms, the interventions, the complications, like know it inside and out. Okay. So focus on one thing at a time. Okay. And if you really think about it, the more you're practicing, the more you're studying, the more you're understanding a concept, you start that trust kind of builds, right? That, that trust is there because you know it. So on test day or when you're doing you world, it's like, you know, this, you see the question, 
you know what it's asking and you've studied it and you trust yourself and you get the right answer. So again, confidence comes from preparation. Kobe taught me that. It's true. The more you study, the more you're preparing, the more confident you are, you know, and it, and when you have that, it just makes you a better, stronger, mental, like mentally strong individual, you know. You'll see that in clinical um, setting when you're in third year. The more you're studying, the more you understand, you know, and then like during rounds when you're being pimped and asked questions and you know the answer, you feel good when you're answering it answering it right so the way to get to that level is practice 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 preparation confidence comes from preparation the next thing I want to talk about is find a mentor so no one goes through medical school like multiple times right you get into med school you do your best you pass great you go in residency and you continue this you know lifelong of uh, helping your community so the fact that you don't know all these diff what the next roadblock is the next step in medicine when it comes to application when it comes to figuring like figuring out your um, the residency and you know when you're just going through all these you need to find someone who's been through that someone who's who's been down that road knows all the tips and tricks you know made their own mistakes and someone that you trust that will not lead you astray so find a mentor that you trust and just learn from them like just get as much knowledge out of them as you can okay the next thing is um, time management guys time management is huge in medical school because not even like yeah med school but then clinical like it gets it gets pretty rough in clinical too so med school, you have your lab, your lecture, you know, whatever other um, agenda that you might have for the day. But you also have to remember you have to eat, sleep, breathe, you know, do activities of daily living as well as study. You got to learn how to time manage, whether you, you start meal prepping. So your meals ready, put in the microwave, warm, eat great, um, taking out your clothes the night before writing out, you know, your to-do list for the following day, like whatever it is, learn how to use time efficiently. Because the more you do that, the more time you have for studying. Because when you're on a time crunch, while you're studying, you're not really focused because you're already thinking of the next thing you got to do. So when you're efficient with time, you'll be able to be more relaxed and focus on the task at hand. On that note, task at hand, you know, live in the moment. Forget about yesterday. Don't think about the future. Live in the moment. What is going on right now in front of you? What do you need to focus on? Do you need to focus on taking a quiz that was assigned to you online? Take that quiz, focus on that. Do you need to do 20 questions on New World? Great. Put your phone on silent. Do those 20 questions on New World. Whatever you're doing, do it one thing at a time. When it comes to studying, like when it comes to like cleaning and eating and whatever, like yeah, multitask. Like I, what I do is like, I'll wake up in the morning, I'll say my prayers, and then I'll go put the coffee, I'll, you know, get the coffee started while the coffee is going and brewing. I'll go brush my teeth, you know, wash my face, whatever, start getting ready. And by the time I'm ready, you know, the coffee's ready. Cause I just like to drink coffee in the morning. So multitask those things because it doesn't really take a lot of thought into. But when it comes to studying, like you need to be focused on that. You know, whether you're studying by reading, you know, by seeing pictures or listening, whatever it is, figure it out and just focus on studying one concept at a time. The next thing I want to talk about is emotions. Guys, this is a huge one, okay? You got to keep your emotions on check, okay? You are in a classroom with like-minded individuals, people who are just as very strong as you are, you know, just as willing, just as driven as you are. So you got to make sure you keep your emotions on check because when you have your emotions on check, you win, okay? There will be so many circumstances, there will be so many situations in life that will you know 
cause you to react. Be proactive, not reactive, okay? Be proactive. When things are not going the way you want, if you're in a situation with another individual and you know there's a clash, the best, best solution is silence. Control your emotions. Because what happens is when you say things out of emotions, later on you're just like oh my god i shouldn't have said that like or oh my god you know i just ruined a friendship or i just burned bridges don't burn bridges that's another thing that you really need to master don't burn bridges be kind to everyone regardless of how they treat you because as long as you are true to yourself and you are kind to other people how they treat you has nothing to do with you at all so be kind to everyone else, respect everyone else, you know, just if someone's rude, let them be rude. You stay quiet, you stay professional, you control that emotion, okay? That is a huge, huge deal. Next thing I want to say is, end of the day, whatever it is, you know, you're laying in bed at night, you're just with, you know, you're just there chilling, ready to pass out. I just want you to love yourself and always exercise that loving yourself, whether it's, you know, with gratitude, whether it's doing something that you love doing, such as reading or taking a bubble bath or writing, you have to always, always love yourself because you are all you have. Okay. If there's something you don't like, Okay, don't dwell on that. Do something. Be proactive. Get up and move and do it. Okay, because the more you dwell, dwell on it, it just gets bigger and bigger. The focus gets bigger and bigger. And that's not, we don't have time to focus on these things. Okay, we don't have time to focus on any insecurities. Everybody has insecurities. We are human and it's okay. Whatever the issue is, face it. Okay, face it. Get up, move, do it, and that's it. You will feel so much, so much better once you face any of these flaws that you feel about yourself. Uh, the last thing I want to say is take breaks, guys. Like breaks, it's not, it's something that you need to implement. Like there's nothing, there's, you can't go around that. You must implement breaks. Breaks are healthy. Breaks are good good time that's like the perfect time for you to muster up all that motivation to continue studying because I get it sometimes studying it's like I don't want to study I want to watch Netflix or I want to go to the beach or I just want to be on social media and take selfies whatever take the take breaks and during those breaks mentally say to yourself whatever it is that keeps you motivated and driven or a vision of yourself during those breaks of, you know, seeing yourself in that long white coat, seeing being called doctor, so-and-so, whatever it is during those breaks, use it to keep motivated and driven. Okay. So breaks are good. It's a good mental, um, de-stressor. It's a good mental exercise. And then at the same time, use that time, to still stay pumped and ready and you know go get her like you're a champion you are a champion you are a winner okay the fact that you're in medicine you're you're automatically a winner because it's not an easy profession so you know take that with pride you know being a doctor an md a do it's it's so valuable so um, that's all I have today. I mean, I can go on and on, but I don't like to do long YouTube videos, but thank you so much, um, for listening in. share any thoughts, feedback in the comments. I will post my Instagram, my blog site, my email, everything, you know, for you to contact me. Um, but yeah, thank you so much guys. See you next time.